All right, so in this demo, we're going to talk about how uh, pressure and volume are inversely related, but only if the moles and what? And what? And say it. Temperature stay constant. So I got two left hands here. All right. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to have some help. All right, I'm going to get some liquid nitrogen. Very cold stuff. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to have uh, uh, Jack come up here. I trust you somewhat. Over oh, this way, just way, Jack. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push on this pressure gauge. And you can see by making the space go smaller, okay, you can see that the pressure increases. Okay, so hard to see it exactly, but if I was to have the volume, we should see our pressure, okay, double. Now, it's hard to see it double because at its zero line, it's at, it's at 760 torr already. So by having it, okay, it doubles. So what I'm going to try to do here, while Jack pours liquid nitrogen in a second on this gas right here, I'm going to try to hold it at a certain pressure. Now, it's not going to be perfect because when I try to hold it, it's going to go down because it's leaking some gas molecules. But I'm going to try to keep it right here. All right? So let's try to keep it at 300 torr, if you can see that there, or 300 what? Millimeters of mercury. Now, Jack, pour some right there. Okay, so I'm trying to hold it, holding the pressure. Keep pouring. Okay. Keep going. Keep pouring it. Pour, pour, pour. What's happening to the what? It's going down. So even though I'm keeping the volume what? Constant because the temperature is not constant, the pressure is dropping. Good job. Now, I didn't move the volume at all. Now, as it warms, what's going to happen to the pressure? Increase. Increase at some point, but now it's negative 200. So that, that relationship of volume and pressure only works if the pressure is constant. Now, normally, when I, not, when I push down on something, the actual temperature does increase. Now, it's starting to warm, so what's happening to my pressure now? increasing back to its original position. Now, I don't even feel much pushback because the pressure drops so much. But you can see that as this gas warms, okay, this pressure will increase. All right, we can sit here and talk about it and look at it, okay, but certainly that's what's happening. It's taking for a while to happen because it's so cold. But it will eventually come up. So if I was to put my hand, my 37 degrees Celsius on there, you can actually start to see that gauge what? steadily starting to increase. Now I'm 37 degrees Celsius. That gas was initially at negative 197. So my warmth of my hand is, is definitely going to make that gas increase. Okay. And if I decrease it, of course it decreases. But again, these variables only work when the other variables are held constant. Thank you. Now, how does this Bordon tube actually work? This is called a Bordon gauge. We're going to work with this today. How does this work? How does it work? Anyone have any idea how this works? Well, what you do is you open things up. Okay, if you look around the back, you're going to see a copper coil. All right, now this copper coil is filled with air and a little spring. Now, I'm not going to take all of it off, but if I if I let you see the inside of this, okay, and I'll have to readjust my focus here. If you see right here, there's a copper coil. It's flattened. Maybe at some point I'll, I'll adjust. Now, what I'm going to do is, put this down. All I'm going to do is push back on this. Now, watch the copper coil as I change the um, pressure. Watch carefully. I'm going to push. What's happening to it? You can see on the what? Is that when I push back? What's happening? Now watch me make the space small as so the pressure increases. What's happening to the, to the, to the tube? Yeah, it, it actually flattens out. Watch again. I push back. Look, look what it does. 
by putting more air into that coil of copper, what is it doing? It straightens out. Okay, and I just, um, looks like I just uh, broke my seal here. Okay, so that's how a board on tune works. How much it straightens out moves the needle. Okay.